This is the story about the old Empire Mine. Located in Grass Valley, this mine was discovered by accident by George Roberts who was a lumberjack. One day while he was surveying some trees in the area, he happened to glance at his boots and noticed tiny gold flakes on them, but this gold he couldn't pan it, for it was embedded in quartz. The only way to get at this gold was dig it up and crush the rock. But this was very difficult for the time and a new and efficient method of extracting the gold from the quartz was in dire need. Seen as a difficult task, George sold his rights to the land for a mere $350 in 1851. Little did he know at the time that he was quite literally standing on a gold mine. George couldn't have known that in a mere 13 years, by 1864, this mine would already have produced more than $1 million worth of gold. Help came with the arrival of Cornish immigrants from the Cornish Peninsula of southwest England. For the past 1,000 years, these miners pulled tin and copper from their native soil. They brought with them their knowledge of mining, their work ethic, and their customs. The Empire Mine labor force soon was made up of 90% Cornish miners. The Cornish miners used the method known as hard rock mining, which consists of first digging a hole into solid rock. Then the rock you dig up would have to be crushed. Then you would extract the gold from the crushed rock using a stamp mill. As the mining progressed to a feverish pace, the depth of the mine soon fell below the water table. The solution was the Cornish plunging pump, capable of pulling 18,000 gallons of water out of the mine per hour. After 40 years of use, Cornish pumps were finally replaced with electrical hydraulic equipment around 1900. Despite the efficient removal of water from the mine, timbers used to hold the ceiling of the mine would rot in the dampness of the tunnels. This in turn produced methane gas, a colorless, odorless gas, that would kill when breathed in. This is when birds such as canaries were used in the mine to warn of an increase in methane gas. Responsible for the immense success of the mine was the owner William Bourne and his mine superintendent, George Starr. Bourne inherited the mine at age 21 in 1877 from his millionaire father. But it was Starr, to whom the miners called of mining genius and the shining star of the empire. Geologists and engineers from around the world ventured to view the latest technologies being used at the empire. As the mine grew larger, the tunnels extended to over 367 miles in pursuit of the veins of gold. Sadly, in 1956, the cost of operation outweighed the cost of extracting the ore and the mining came to a close. It said that only 20% of the gold from the empire has been removed, enough to create a 7-foot square block of pure gold. The empire mine operated for over a century from 1850 to 1956, making it one of the longest-running gold mines of the Gold Rush era in California. This mine pulled more gold out of the ground than any other, and it is said that the mine still has millions of dollars of gold yet to be mined. I hope you enjoyed this short story about the old Empire Gold Mine. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more old lost mine stories. Mm -hmm.